Afternoon everyone and welcome to another Round the Grounds episode. So today we'll start today's vlog um, by paying my respects to the Gillingham fan that sadly lost his life this past week. Um, paying my respects to him. The football community always stick together so I thought I'd uh, dedicate this video to him. Um, obviously a big part of the Gillingham fan base. Um, so yeah, I wanted to start the video by just showing my respects to him and the Gillingham fans. Um, on to this one today, we're here at the Eco Power to take in Doncaster Rovers versus Gillingham in League 2 action. Uh, really looking forward to this one, not only for the football but to meet um, two top vloggers. Obviously 18 Dapu has been on the channel quite a few times and a really close mate to me now. Uh, top content and uh, today first time meeting Matt who's also known as Jill's in the blood. Um, top guy, top content from him. Um, so I'm really looking forward to meeting him and uh, just having a chat about football in, in general. Um, drop them two guys a subscribe. Great content, as I say, and top guys. Um, on to this one. Donny Rovers, off the back of a win at Forest Green last time out. Be looking to build on that um, today at the Eco Power. But tough ask. Obviously, Gillingham flying high at the top of the league. Their fans will be really happy with their start. Um, but yeah, really looking forward to getting my teeth into this one. Um, so yeah, let's get round the ground, have a chat to a few fans and uh, just take in the atmosphere. If you're new round here, smash the like button for us, give us a subscribe and let's take this one in. League to action, we're back. So we're back with Dan, 18 Dapper, and first time on the video, we're Matt from Jules in the Board. And what's your name? Hey, How are you doing, guys? Yeah, good, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Good, good to finally meet and get this one. Yeah, we, yeah, we, we met uh, 2019, I think, yeah. yeah. You yeah. just sort of grabbed me as I was walking into the ground, yeah. So yeah, yeah. it's all come from there. Yeah. So how are you both feeling going into this one? Confident, I think. Yeah. I think he is as well, which is a bit worrying. <laughs> I don't know, yeah, no, I mean, we're top of the league, I know it's only eight games, but generally we're, we're getting results, and I think first half last week against Morecambe was, was certainly our best offensive performance of the season and we could have had four or five in that 45 minutes so yeah. it was just frustrating that we didn't didn't put them to bed but if you're creating chances you're giving yourselves opportunities and, and we don't concede too many at the other end so, so fingers crossed that we can replicate that today and, and hopefully leave with, with at least a point but hopefully all three. Yeah. Uh, top at least, so you've got to be confident. Top of the league. Yeah, we yeah. keep saying it well, <laughs> until it stops. <laughs> well, mate, so I, won't, I won't say I'm as, as confident as, as Matt. Um, obviously, you very solid defensively. I think we've not we've only scored seven goals. You guys have scored seven goals as well. Um, but the difference is we've conceded 15, I think it is, whereas you've conceded five. So Six, sorry. Six now, yeah. Yeah, Six. yeah so it's, it's going to be a close game. Um, obviously, performances have improved until last week. But then we, we have a poor performance and, and get three points. So yeah. I'd happily take a really poor game today and, and it going in off the iron side's backside yeah, and, yeah. And, and winning 1 0, to be honest. Um, I just like what I want to see is just continue growing as a team, um, improving, getting results. I'd, I'd, take, I'd, I'd be happy with a draw today, to be honest, at home yeah. against, against lead leaders. Yeah. And to be honest, the draw's not a disaster for us as well. It's, it's still very early in the season. Like I say, it's only eight games in. So if, if and they say if you win your own games and you, and you, you don't lose many away, you're going to be there or thereabouts. But we're playing well enough, or we're certainly getting enough results to, to win the football match. So yeah, see what happens. Obviously, back of two wins as well. So it's uh, it's good coming home here today. Yeah, we back. should have a bit of confidence coming in, but. It's, it's difficult. I can't. I, I can't. You can't count. You can't count beating Everton. Everyone beats Everton. Yeah, that's it. And, and the kids as well. So <laughs> one win. <laughs> but but no, we put a strong team out midweek, um, and I think I think it is just about building confidence for us at the minute. I think a lot of people from the outside looking in are thinking that there's a bit of a disaster and a bit of a, a bit of a um, yeah, just just a bit of a what's the word? 
for us. What I'm trying to say. It's done. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's completely gone. Um, yeah, bit of a disaster from the outside looking in, but I think performances are there. Results, results will come. We've got a lot of injuries. Once, once they're starting to come back, we should, we should be better. Yeah, and lastly, score predictions. This is going to be, this is going to be fun. Right? So I'd be happy with, I'd be happy with one one. I'd be happy yeah. with a draw, but I've gone with two ones at Rovers. I just think if, if we're on it, we can beat anybody in this league. I really believe it. Yeah. Yeah. I tried to convince me to send there, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, I like that. He's talked himself out, and he? he was really confident about two minutes ago. <laughs> two on, I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's forgot what to say, he's all over the show. Um, I'm, I'm similar, a, a one all wouldn't be a disaster, but I'd back us to win the football match, so I'm going to go two one Jules. Yeah, and what about yourself? Yeah, you're loving getting to Gillingham games? Lovely, cheers for your time. Ta enjoy. Thanks, mate, enjoy. <laughs> Just, <laughs> just, just introduce yourself. Uh, my name's Harry. Yeah. Go on, and I'm Gareth. Yeah. How are you feeling going into this one? Good. Good. Yeah, I'm optimistic. Yeah, Obviously, yeah. Tillingham are at the top of the league, so we've got those uh, worries cut out, haven't we? But hopefully, after that Forest Green performance, we can back on it. Yeah, yeah. score predictions. 2 1 Donny. 2 1 Donny, yeah. I'm going to say uh, 3 1. Yeah, back in them, got to, haven't you? <laughs> Cheers, lads. Next. Cheers, mate. There you go. Thank you very much, buddy.
Back with 18 Dapper, obviously Matt, Jill's in the blood and we're joined with Adam. How are we doing? How are you feeling after that, gents? Did enough to win two football matches, but it's been a problem all season. Yeah. Weren't clinical enough. Yeah. Quite frustrated. I am frustrated, yeah, because yeah, we certainly didn't deserve to lose a game. Yeah. But a bit too for sort of front of you. Don't, think, don't yeah. score goals, don't win football matches, yeah. but yeah, we've had plenty of chances second half. McCauley bonkered about that trick. Yeah. For some reason, he's, I don't know, there was one midway, well, just before I think Doncaster scored their winner. Yeah, Ball we... comes to him in the edge of the box and he just don't, he's not even aware the ball's next to him. Yeah. Taps it in. Yeah. But he's one over the bar. Yeah. I think Mahoney made it forced to save straight after 2 1. Colin Masterson should have hit the target. Yeah, really frustrating. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can tell it's you. It's football, quite... it, it is what it is. Yeah. It's just annoying. But yeah. we'll, we'll be back next week. Yeah. What about yourselves? Can't disagree with what Matt said there. To be fair, I thought I thought it was a finally balanced game. We've had a couple of opportunities down where, where keepers pulled off two good saves. Um, I think it was just a game what really ebbed and flowed. We were on top for a little bit, then Jules came on top, and it were we were all about who capitalised with a with a bit of pressure that they had. And it's been a worldie that's that's won it, and I think probably unjustly won it. I think a, a draw would have been the, would have been the fairer result in in my opinion. Yeah. I think one 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 would have been I think would have been coming out and saying yeah fair play, but absolute world has won it and. Sorry, Matt, but I'm buzzing. No, oh, absolutely. I'm buzzing because that's, that's a great result. It's a it's a massive confidence builder for us. I think it shows that you guys 
that we're where you are for a reason, but I think it shows that we're probably a lot lower than what we what we should be. So I'm, I've really no concerns with where we're at this season. I think we'll be I think we'll be fighting up near top end of the table towards the end of the season and just lining that final game of the season up quite well, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and lastly, Adam, quick quick thoughts on that one? Yeah, I think I agree. I think, like I say, one all has been pretty fair to be fair. I think, like I say, it's tough. A bit like Forest Green, it's took a bit of a longer goal to, to win it, but um, like like Dapper said, I think he meant this one. I'm yeah. gonna say, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna say, I think it's it's kind of showing. I think like like I said, we're starting to build a bit of momentum. It's been one of them where the performances have been there the last few games, but the results haven't, and now the results starting to flow. I mean, um, yes, yeah, it's, it's it's one of them. I think like I said, we're gonna start. I think we'll start to kind of say like. Something to build on now. Yeah, I was going to say, we'll start to, yeah. so hopefully, like I say, performances have been there, hopefully the results will start to come there as well. And I think, like I say, I think, we're, I think, like I say, I think Julian, we've been a bit unlucky as well. I think they could have easily and probably should have took some from this game as well. I think they um, yeah. had a few great, especially in the second half, they had a few great chances to um, yeah, yeah. take it. But like I say, I thought it would be a close game and that's what, what it kind of yeah. were in. Yeah. Like I say, we, we came out on top. So, so Donny, have bragging works. Uh, <laughs> For now, yeah. well, no, all the best for the rest of the season. Yeah, like, yeah, we'll, we'll, play, we'll play worse and win. That's the thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's the Lastly, gents, these uh, top vloggers, the uh, links will be in the description. It's nice to meet you finally, mate. Yeah, and, uh, Cheers. One last thing, I have thought of the word that I was trying to think earlier talking oh, to here you. Here we go. People looking in. <laughs> Would be it's a crisis, wouldn't it? Crisis. <laughs> yeah, it's, a crisis. It's, it's not a crisis, and I think we've seen that today that injured players coming back will we'll be okay. Yeah. Yeah, you'll be fine. Yeah. Cheers, gents. <laughs> I'm just finishing a vlog off uh, in the man cave, something different, finishing it in the car, um, it's different surroundings. Uh, Doncaster Rovers getting all three points in a 2-1 victory against Gillingham. Uh, much per uh, improved performance I felt for Donny, obviously covered him against Knox County. Uh, they were really, um, really on it today, I felt at times, moved the ball well. Um, caused Gillingham a few problems at times. The two in the middle, I felt controlled it um, and moved it really well um, so yeah as for me I'd, I'd build a team around them too because um, they, they, they look quite composed at times and uh, just did things simple I think that's what you need as a, a central midfielder and obviously close getting uh, both the goals uh, great finish to win it at the end as soon as he hit it you knew it were destined to, to hit the back of the net um, but yeah, much improved performance. That's two from two now, so McCann will be happy now. It's something to build on. Um, Gillingham, I felt they'll be frustrated probably going home because they did have the chances to win it, to be fair. And on another day, it would probably been them going home with the three points. Um, the chances were there. Obviously, the lad up, up top uh, has missed a couple. I think with the one, uh, the full-backs played a great ball across and he's just not reacted and he just needed a, some sort of touch and it had probably gone in um, on a different day. Gillingham had, had uh, been the happier out of the two going home with three points. Um, you can tell with Matt he's quite frustrated uh, going back down to Kent and uh, he can understand why. Um, but no, great to meet Matt first time today. Jill's in the blood, great guy, great content and he's really passionate about what he does and very knowledgeable, uh, so it's great to meet you, mate. Um, obviously, Dan, 18 Dapper, he's been a regular on my channel. Um, really good friendship we've struck up now. We just talk well, a, a lot of things about football and we've got a chance to shoot something a bit different this morning, uh, which will be on a different video. Uh, Donny Rovers kindly um, invited us down to to review the food menu so looking forward to bringing you that uh, quite a funny film in it um, and have adam at the end who's pushing on now to a thousand subscribers so let's get in there um now three goals to to take in for me today being a neutral um helps me forget about the wednesday results because we got whacked again and we're absolutely shocking <laughs> there's no change there though uh, but now if you enjoyed this video smash that like button for us subscribe if you're new around here and uh, share it and comment down below if your team won this weekend uh, and uh, if you're happy uh, donny rovers fan or if you're an happy uh, gillingham fan uh, but thanks for watching everyone and have a be have a brilliant weekend